Hey guys, and welcome to Astroneer. We are playing the base building update. Yes, indeed, this has landed last week, and it's given us a whole new series of ways to play the game. And I think I might be onto a way that the devs did not intend. Yes, my name is Twitchy, and we are here for the No Surface Challenge. Now, obviously, Starting off, we've got to be on the surface because I didn't actually see anywhere to go. But there, this is really going to be a, a two-minute thing. Look, just there. That's where we are going. But I need to make a small use of some of the new equipment we have here. I'd say use of equipment. I need to pick some up and get rid of it. So from over here, if I just press Q and uh, get our little, little panel up here, open it up. This is kind of how you start the game normally. It gives you a large, uh, large platform and a fabricator. But I'm not interested in them right now. No. No, 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 we need to get ourselves underground because this is indeed the no surface challenge, which means we've got, we got to get off the surface. There's there's no reason to be up here. Okay, cool. Our first first uh, priority, shall we say, is oxygen. You might see that my my bar at the top here, it's it's dropping. It's dropping really quick. But thankfully, the, the uh, devs have left us these crystals underground, these nice little oxygen crystals, and they will boost up our oxygen level wonderfully. Now, you might be wondering... Twitchy, my friend, if this is the no surface challenge, how are you going to find some of the basic building materials? More importantly, how are you going to get those first few research points that you get normally when you make yourself a small generator and the organics? Well, that is a very good and astute question out there, dear viewer, and I endeavour to show you the biggest problem is going to be finding... What's the words that I'm looking for here? Compound and resin. These are the two first building blocks that we are looking for. I'm looking for two packets of each. Uh, now, this is going to be a little bit dark down here. As you can see, I've only really got my uh, my front-facing torch to get going with, but I think we should be alright. I'm basically just going to be going around these top level canyons for a little canyons caverns sorry for a little bit looking in the ceiling trying to find myself as I just said compound and resin the major problem is of course going to be keeping myself breathing but I think if we have a look at my backpack here I'm already pretty on that so let's just keep walking looking for things in the ceiling uh, I think what we're going to do here is go through a series of sped up processes. Uh, I'll keep you guys literally watching on, but uh, yeah, definitely need to cover a lot of ground, possibly more ground than I could cover if I was just yammering on constantly. Okay, and almost immediately, look at that, we found ourselves some compound. Unfortunately, compound is not the first thing that I need. Compound is good, and compound would make me the generator. This would be one of the first steps in the surface game. But as you know, we are not playing the surface game. We are playing the underground, the no surface challenge. So I need to try and do this properly. This one here, not so interested. If you could, please, I need to get that entire bit of compound in. Now, did I drop one on the floor whilst I was sorting out that I did not is there a way of combining these down oh, I've also got my gun storage so that should be okay I literally just want the two for now uh, if I spend more time than that I'm probably wasting my time now let's let's get a third one because I would like things such as tethers and work lights and these actually require some stuff obviously the first thing they require is some science so we need to keep walking indeed can I put this on my backpack now do I have I eaten through it. Let's get my gun out. There we go. I put it on the gun. Okay, that, that should get eaten through. All these power crystals, also things that I need to be saving up, but I'm not that bothered so far. Dead end. That's that's a little unfortunate. Thankfully, we do have oxygen past us here, so we'll just carry on running until we found some resin. Okay, I think I see some just over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys out from a distance and I'll probably end up... Whoa! Don't don't send your nasty green gases at me. Be gone with you. Look at that. Two researchers already. Uh, let's just eat our way into this resin here if we can. Uh, whilst, yes, the power is good, let's try and put these... Let's put these on my gun for now so that I know that I have two spots two slots free it's all about the number of slots you got two slots free for our resin here okay that's one i just need another one please and then we have got to the point where we're not panicking quite so much uh thankfully this has gone quite well uh this i i, I had a few practices beforehand yes indeed i did and this is by no means a guarantee that you can find these parts before you run out of oxygen find the resin and stuff before you run out of oxygen thankfully today has been a day where it has worked out for me and i'm gonna get this 
this one here out. This is a large platform. If you put it down and press E, you can fold it out. And this makes, it's not a large platform, sorry. It's a medium platform. That's the problem. The medium platform is good, but it's not the one we're after. If we put the, the medium platform down, put a fabricator on top of it and open up here, you can see we want a large platform that's two resin. I happen to have two resin here, but we have a power issue, which you might remember was something that I was going around and collecting here. So we put those power crystals down and that shows you the full way of being able to do these things. Now, I think it just stole the last of my power. Can, can you go, please? Thank you. Uh, let's look around here so we can see what's going on. It should have actually taken the power off of me there. Do we have any more to spare? We do on my my gun, please. Can I can I grab my gun? If if I could, that would be helpful. Let's put that over there just so I have it for use. But it's made an entire large platform here. And you might be like, why have you built this entire large platform? Well let me show you. If I put it down and I press E Bigly Bam, we've got ourselves a new platform that gives me oxygen. So suddenly Despite that high octane start, we are actually chilled now. Uh, let's press F1 and get rid of all that. If you guys want to know all the updates, there they all are. But uh, that that that's I've, I've already learned all that. I've already learned that. So what are we doing now? We are, of course, now that we've got oxygen, worried about this stuff down here. Because if we have a look inside our little... Uh, catalog i believe they call this the catalog uh there are a few things i need i need like canisters the mineral extractor super good for down here but the one i'm actually really looking for if i can find it anywhere is, is not actually in there wait I, I i'm being a fool please ignore me uh we need to make ourselves a research chamber which i just happen to have the three compound for now i've got a feeling we're going to be out of power before we even finish this one so we're going to have to start running around and having a look at what we can find now where were other power nodules i believe i saw somewhere down here so these big plants here they let me know where power is at but i like to wipe them out before i take all the power away so that when i'm looking from a distance i'm not like oh look there's one over there uh, what is this? I think this one might have the most research in out of all the ones we found. Uh, let's take it back and we will start to find out. Of course, the power is going to be a problem here. Is this even the right way? Am I even going back to base here? I am. You can see that we have hit ourselves a little bit of a power problem, but that's okay because we have the crystals. Let's pop them down like that and hopefully this should all work out well for us. Let's close my backpack down and have a look at what's going on here. So we've got ourselves a research chamber this is totally in the way put it over there uh, let's unpack this one if I can please thanks that would be good and now we've got a little bit of estimation to do well estimation we we've, we've got so, some things to read let's just spin this around so it's facing the rest of my uh, rest of my base I suppose we're not really going to be setting up a base like this but this is 450 bytes and it's going to take 10 minutes uh, with the power levels that we have obviously the power levels being none right now uh, let's close that down and have a look at these ones let's see if either of these have got more inside so that was 450 this one is indeed 2,900 oh yeah I think we're probably going to end up keeping that one I've pressed too many buttons once again but let's see what we can do with uh, this one see if it has any power inside it once again please these 1020 okay so we're going to get rid of that one and we're going to keep this one put that back on top and now we begin the search for power this is what it's all about we're just now going to go around and well find power nodules it is really as simple as that we walk around with this heavy platform to give ourselves oxygen oh yeah and try and find all the power crystals in the roof now i would like to take my medium platform with me uh the one with the fabricator upon it as i feel this would do me some good let's well things falling down in the background behind me that's okay though uh what was I talking about? Uh, I would like to take this this little power unit with me here, but I'm uh, I'm not sure whether I will or not. I keep toying with the idea of abandoning it, uh, as I could probably make other stuff if need be. But that said, it is literally probably my only way of making uh, the next platforms that I need. Obviously, I'll need another large platform. Let's just start that going. Uh, I will need another large platform and. Things like the mineral extractor and the, the the vehicle bay, they all get made in that. So I, I need to kind of take that around with me. I'm just waiting for this little power crystal here to, there we go, destroy itself so that I can come back and grab this. There's some power in the roof. Nice, nice. That is entirely what we're after. Uh, whilst we're doing this, is the boost mod something that I want or is that just a little bit of a frivolity? I'm not entirely sure. I have, however, got myself a small section of 
compound here. So let's open up this uh, this catalog. I'm waiting for the work light because man, it's dark down here and I don't like it being so dark. This is technically a waste, but I, I, I think we I think it's needed. I think it's needed. If not for oh, we need copper. Well, that's, that's a thing. That is indeed a thing. I was going to say, if not for me, very much for you guys watching. But, um, yeah, I was going to blame you guys there. I really was. Let's pop that over there as well. And we're just going to have to kind of walk around a little bit like this. Thankfully, with the oxygen supply coming from the large platform, it is by no means a panic scenario now. We just need to find little areas like this where we can do a few things, build up the power. Uh, let's bring this over and start thinking about a second large platform. Is that is that what we want to do? Are we going to set this place as somewhere to be that there's even some uh, compounded not compound resin in the roof which is kind of good I, I'll tell you what I want a resin and I'll show you why if we come back here uh, and I open up my backpack I thought I was stood next to the large platform I was not here's the large platform thank you open up my uh, my backpack my let's put my gun away there uh, my catalog shall we call it uh, down here somewhere I still haven't quite figured out their system for what all these things are about. Tethers, 30 bytes, bam, I'll have that, thank you. I'm also looking for the canister, I'm sure it was around somewhere. Beacon, uh, small generator in here, there we go, canister, that's the thing I want. The reason that I'm taking the canister is of course so that I can build up stuff underneath me. Uh, if I show you, if I get my gun out and press alt, you can see canister needed, that's because I've got no dirt on me right now. Uh, can I please, tethers, canister, canister is what I want here. And maybe we're gonna get the tethers as well, the problem with the tethers is that um, it gives you kind of almost a false sense of security. Gather organic to fuel generator. I, I don't want that. I actually do not want that. Uh, it's going to carry on telling me that for a little while though, isn't it? Just to be annoying. Just to be annoying. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's move these on and go a little further down. Did I grab all the power that was available there? I don't think I did. In fact, there is lots of power all around here. So this is where I'm going to set up a little temporary encampment. Yeah, just like that. Let's have a look and see what's down here. Let's first take out these bad boys, because man, bad boys, they're a bad problem. Uh, is that everyone I wanted to take out? It was. Yeah, definitely looking like this might be the place for tethers. See that green guy over there? Oh, he's miles away, that's fine. There is another one somewhere though. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can take care of that with a simple run. He's gotta be down here, yeah, I see him. Okay, I'm gonna die now, that's bad. If I die, it's very bad. Okay, we're gonna have to try and figure this out from the surface. Whew. I've only ever saved myself once from this death, so let's try and see what we can do. Where is... Oh, man, we are far away. We are far, far away. Let's try and get a bearing on it so we know which way we want to go. Hopefully, that's down the hole. Hopefully, that's down the hole. Man, that is that is actual distance away. Okay, here we go. Let, let's see what we can do about this. Let's press E and use, and we've got ourselves a almost directly westward direction to travel. Hopefully we can do this. Now, I don't know what, what you guys feel about me harvesting these oxygens up on top to try and get back to where I died. I'm not going to do it for now, but if we do get ourselves into a big problem, then we'll know what to do about that. Uh, I'm really hoping that I can just carry on running this direction. Not even running, just having a, uh, a bit of a, a jog, if you will, and then we'll find ourselves a hole in the ground to jump into. If it gets super, super deadly, uh, I don't know, for the sake of demonstration, I might grab some oxygen from the surface, though I really doubt that'll be the thing. Is that the actual giant solar panel over there? Never in my life have I seen so many giant solar panels as trying to practice this no surface challenge. I'm, I'm gonna have to do it guys, I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, let's do this. Uh, again, normally if you're, if you're being super strict about it, that would not have counted. That would have been like a fail of the challenge there. And so like you can, you can give me a hashtag fail if you want. I, I don't mind. I understand that I did kind of fail there and then uh, and we'll try and keep moving forwards despite that despite that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I would have died. I think it's probably time to dig down into the caves if we can't find another cave. I was, I really was hoping for a cave entrance somewhere, um, but no, doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. Is that a cave entrance over there? No, we've got some resin, but that's not what I'm after because that that is taking surface materials. I, I don't know if this counts as taking surface materials. Uh, I, I kind of suspect it does. 
but we'll, we'll live. Also, I'm getting organics here. I didn't, I didn't want that. I, I, I don't want any access to organics at all whatsoever. Uh, this looks like a nice cave entrance here. Have I gone past my, my, my guy? I don't know. I actually don't know. This could be the failure of this particular effort here, but I, th I still think it went kind of well. Definitely demonstrated what I'm trying to do. Do. Is this where I've been down before? Let's uh, have a quick look around, see if we recognise anything. I don't recognise anything at all, actually, if I'm to be honest with you guys. There's a little bit of a break there. There's not a break here. Let's uh, let's wander down this way. We were kind of in the green. No, that's, that's not looking good at all. Jump up and over here. Maybe we will find ourselves our platform uh, this way. I've got a feeling we are, of course, done for, though. That's uh, a little bit of a shame yet. Yeah, dead end here, so let's try and go back and find another way. We're going to run out of oxygen relatively quickly. I'm a little disappointed about that, if I'm to be honest. Let's try going... Oh, let's have a look. Do you reckon we're over that way or over this way? It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. I wish there was a way of having some sort of transponder signal. If uh, if this does happen, that, that would have been great. If there was some sort of uh, device I could use to track my last death. Now, obviously, they do give you that big, big cross, but you, you can't see that underground. You cannot see that underground. Okay, you, you look deadly as well. Let's just take these guys out from a distance. As long as you do it from a distance, generally everything works out. Hey, okay. I don't see anything over there or anything over here. That's a little bit of a shame because I was kind of hoping that I would see evidence of my passing. You know, uh, a, few, uh, a few things broken out. Thankfully, we've got oxygen up here, so that, that's no problem. Uh, trying to locate the death marker is always a problem. Always a problem. What is... You see that orange over on the right-hand side of my screen? What is that? Is that surface? Am I seeing surface over there, or am I seeing somewhere that's pre-lit? I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's go around. Once again, we've got ourselves... Ah, bad guys. Actually, a lot closer than I thought they would be. Okay, keep running. Keep running. Yeah, look at that. We got we got like Canyon Way. All right, I think actually, um, well, I'm not dead yet, so we'll carry on searching. But it, it's hard. It's hard. I don't I don't know where my stuff is, and we're probably gonna die again. No, no, I'm I'm good. I'm good. How to search for your stuff underground is not something that I've perfected yet. I literally just have to run round and round and see if we can find anything. I'm hoping it's not too deadly. But I hope it doesn't get you very far. Oh, oh, look at this over here. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. That, that was obviously a top-notch and totally the way you should do it way of doing things. Okay, so if that's that, that means we're up there. Okay, cool. Whoo! That that was that was actually pretty tough, guys. That was actually pretty tough. Let's see what I've got in my backpack. Nothing to get going with. There is my dead guy. Okay, let's remember that there is a, a thing down here somewhere. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. Okay, that that's cool. Uh, these guys also need to die from a distance. If I can just get those. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Uh, let's go. Click, click, click. Anything on there? There's nothing on there. All right, put that back away. Have a look around, see what it is I want. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I would like here. Um, mostly, though, I would like to get the power nodules because that, that's how I'm getting more science. And more science means more good stuff, right? That, that's the way it works. More science, more good stuff. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this way I saw a whole bunch of power nodules. There, there was literally loads and loads of stuff. I'm not sure if we can make ourselves... Let's have a look at some tethers here. Tethers are what we're after in this particular situation. So we can keep ourselves attached to this whilst we have a bit of a look around. Hmm, okay, yeah, works out well. Actually a little bit disappointed in that death there. I would... Uh, I thought, I, I, I practiced pretty hard at this, I practiced pretty hard, I didn't think I was going to die, but it, it was a silly play, it was a silly play, I thought I could kill something when actually I, it was a little bit too close, I should have come around the other way or something silly like that, was that giving me oxygen there, did you, did you guys see that little, little glitchy bit? I, I saw that little glitchy bit. Uh, right, first things first, take away this bad boy here. Um, he's not really a bad boy. If you notice that his cloud doesn't come chasing for me. He's not like the other green boys uh, that actually actively try and get you. Malachi. Okay, that's, that's nice. That is something we're going to have to deal with. But I need more resin and compound before we can deal with that. Now, I think I saw some resin somewhere 
yonder, right? Am, am I right? Amongst all this stuff out back here, there was definitely a place where I saw some things that I need. Let's carry on running this way. That was a terrible tether placement. I should get banned from the guild. Okay, back up over this way. Tether, tether, tether. There is some resin over this way. I knew I saw some. I knew I saw some. I should have got rid of my power nodules. That would have probably enabled me to get more. Okay, well, we've got resin. Oh, we've got tethers down. Let's go back and offload our power power nodules. Because if I have a look in here, we're actually getting uh, a little bit of little bit of research. I, I would have preferred if we had more, like a lot more, but uh, that, well, they'll just have to make do with what we've got. Yes, indeed. Uh, running back along the tether network, always a long way, always a long way. I can remember that I can sprint now. Uh, I've kind of trained myself to not sprint down in the caves because that, that eats through a lot of oxygen and wasting oxygen is not the winner there. Uh, oh, I thought I moved that out of the way. Uh, let's get that power back up if I can, thanks. Just throw all the power on there. I I don't know how long that's going to last. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as much as I would like it to. Uh, indeed, I don't think it's going to last all 10 minutes, even slightly. Uh, before I go running back, I think I'm going to have a small sip of tea here. Ended up being quite a big sip of tea, but still. And now we need to go get some resin for extra large platform for another large platform before we then make the smelter. The smelter, of course, being needed to get some of these materials like the malachite into actual copper. Uh, can we can we run, please? I, I know you're doing little dance for joys, and I, I like it that my dude likes to dance for joy, but I would prefer if he went around and survived. Okay, now with all this in place, let's see if we can't get that dude back there before I die. Yeah, that works. That works. Give me the power. I need the power. Oh, there is there is bad stuff. Oh, I didn't see it coming at me until it was too late. All right, run back this way. Is that is this still safe? Do you see it? You see it there? It's, it's coming at me. No, we're good. We're good. All right, I, I was after power, but instead I'm going to get the resin. Because uh, the resin was the original thing that I was after. Yes, indeed. We need to get at least two for a new platform. Two for the platform, and maybe two compound for the smelter, if we can find any compound. That is going to be the hard bit, though, is actually finding the compound. It's going to be a very similar process to finding resin. It's going to be about somewhere. It's got to be about somewhere. Uh, so that's the resin. Ooh. Come, come here, come here, come here. If we can, please. Oh, that's the resin that we're after. There's actually three bits of resin. That's a little bit more than I was after. Uh, let's drop another one of these here. Get some more power. Power is literally the big part of this game now. Uh, of the underground game, if you will. Uh, the wind generator is actually one that does work in places down here so that is the next thing that i'm aiming towards okay this looks like a good place to bring the base when we're done around here uh done back there sorry uh we will try and bring it down towards these tethers uh it should be cool control oh is it not gonna let's just do some things to get rid of that that little tool tip there do i want to bring these tethers back no we're gonna leave these ones here as indication of where I want to bring the base when we're done. Uh, and that should be cool. It's gonna... Mm, the next part of this game is gonna be quite a slow one. Because obviously we've got to... We've got to juggle platforms, tethers, and all these sorts of things, as well as trying to keep ourselves alive. Let's try and turn this around here. Hello, can I please make a large platform? Thanks. We're going to have a power issue, I know. So let's try and dump one of these on here. Maybe that will be enough to do the whole thing. I kind of doubt it. I do kind of doubt it. Oh, look, we've got another power nodule up top. I'll put that on the side as well. And that should sort it out pretty well for us. If we can, please. Man, it's, it takes a while. It takes a while. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to deploy that. Yes, indeed. Press and hold because I want the smelter. It wants two compound. Okay, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. We need to go around for a little bit of a walk. Oh, there's resin up in the roof there. I just went running for resin. What? Uh, yeah, compound's going to be a little bit more difficult. Do we know if there's any over this way? Look at this power nodule up on the wall here, though. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, got, got all of that. Maybe we want to start setting some tethers down this way. See if there's anything over here that we want. Uh, in particular, the compound in the roof, if we could. Compound in the roof, if we could. Let's just see if this is a dead end this way or actually worth exploring out. 
that's that goes back the way we were looking towards the end of the tether network uh, and I don't see any compound just kicking in the roof okay with a little pass like that will turn around and start going back 50% oxygen always the good place to turn around when you've got the 50% oxygen warning a uh, bit of malachite there there's some oxygen up on the wall so I might try and grab that at the same time as grabbing this power because power super important yo super super in a port of where are we gonna find that compound that's a question that is a question so my quick plan is just to go exploring in every direction as far as my not oxygen network will allow oh look this is where we started off um, searching for research do we have any compound down uh, this way I don't think so the fact that I can see the green layer makes me think that we're not gonna do too well on the compound finding which is uh, actually a shame a great great shame uh, as I kind of wanted to wrap this up with making the smelter if we can just find some way of making the smelter that's my 50% warning but I think I think I can just do this I, I definitely saw compound on the way down here um, but where that actually is I don't know I don't, uh, there's some compound in the roof right now okay cool that's good we can grab oxygen on the way back uh, I really want to kill these guys before they become a problem for me are you gonna be a problem back there hello right you're not a problem that's good and we've both got compound and oxygen in the ceiling that's good that's good this is what we want I think I even see mountainous terrain over in the corner there you see that orange that was almost almost always indicative of a, a mountain i may be wrong they may have changed that now but i think it's pretty good all right one compound two compound come on give me give me the second compound is that is that ceiling through there i don't know i don't know uh let's go back let's let's get the oxygen oxygen very important right now uh let's do that top me up you top me up I think so uh, and with that we can now go through and grab all these bits can I just get another compound please just one more compound can I get a compound go no no one there we go we got that's two bits of compound now I'm gonna take a little bit of time just to clear stuff through because if I can get another bit of compound then that means I can make more more tethers tethers are good yo I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this in this game but tethers are uh, literal lifelines so it's good to get them if you can there's not much compound coming out of this hole though okay there we go that that's that's pretty much all i need question mark i don't know we could probably get a few more out but i'm worried about oxygen look at my oxygen levels right now oh man uh we've got these in the wall though to to help us get by and there's this one over here now of course i could be a little bit lost uh, I, I, I might very well be a little bit lost, but we put the tether network out, so that should help us find where we're going. I believe we go this way and then take a left, and then maybe we're there? Question mark. I don't know why I keep asking Mark, but uh, let's question Mark. Uh, over that way, and uh, a little bit of oxygen down here should hopefully make me a top-notch explorer again. Yeah, oxygen. Okay, cool. That's that's good. I don't remember crossing this area here. Uh. Am I lost? I think I might be lost. Okay, evidence of my passing here. Oh, this is a dead end. That's no good. Ah! Um, all right. Uh, thankfully, I've got lots and lots of oxygen, so we should be able to find a way back. Okay, so so far everything has been pretty much live. I've been uh, hopefully recording the whole lot and allowing you guys to watch everything, but um, I'm lost. I am legitimately and absolutely lost. So what I'm going to do is go and watch the video that I've just recorded and try and make my way back somehow. I know somehow there will be a route for me to go back to my back to my base. Uh, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but I'm fairly sure if I watch the video very, very carefully, I should be able to backtrack my, my paces and hopefully find my way back to base. So the consensus is I am well and truly properly like hopelessly and utterly lost. I have gone back, I've looked at the video, but I've got to be honest, the video did not help me all that much. Uh, I'm now just kind of wandering around aimlessly, so I think with that I am going to claim that I have failed this undersurface challenge. If you guys feel there is something that you want to take part in, do please 
uh, let me know. Drop me down a comment below. I would like to see how many people think this is a great idea. I think I'm probably going to have another go if you guys are up for watching. So uh, again, please let me know below about that. But uh, until then, I will see you next time where hopefully we're going to do better than this. Bye! All right, let's 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 go all the way to death. Watch it; it's going to be just around this corner now, and then we're going to have to eat all my words. No, is this a dead end? Is this a dead end? It, it does look open. It looks open. This might be the way home. I'm not even going to bother with the oxygen. All right, bye bye.